In today's video, it has finally happened. Native M1 Max support on the latest 1.19 update of Minecraft. I know I'm a little bit late on this video, but I wanted to make sure I covered all of the different ways you can run Minecraft natively on an M1 Mac. The Mac I'm going to be using in this video is an M1 MacBook Air. We're going to be trying the latest 1.19 version on there, seeing what kind of FPS we get. We're also going to be trying Sodium and Fabric and Many MC, which a lot of you guys have been telling me to check out in the comments down below. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so here we are on my M1 MacBook Air. So it's pretty simple. We just go on the regular Minecraft launcher, select 1.19, and we should be good to go. It's just updating here, getting all the latest updates for the launcher. If you guys are interested in the specs of this computer I'm using, if I just go to about this Mac here, I'm running an M1 MacBook Air 2020 with 8GB of RAM and 512GB SSD. So yeah, I haven't maxed out my RAM or anything. This is pretty much like a stock configuration. I've just got the added option of more storage. It's pretty much as basic as things go. I haven't got like an M1 Ultra or an M1 Max or anything like that. This is just the regular M1. And most recently, the M2 has been announced and is just starting to come out. So if I can get my hands on that, I'll definitely do a video on one. But yeah, here we are, 1.19 Minecraft. Let's go ahead and click on play here. So let's just do a vanilla test first of all. And then we're going to try Sodium and Fabric, which you guys have been screaming at me in the comments to try. All right, guys, here we go. 1.19 has opened up. Let's just go into full screen here. And let's create a brand new world. And boom, here we are, Minecraft 1.19 vanilla running on my M1 MacBook Air. So without further ado, let's put on the FPS here. And wow, look at this. So yeah, if we look at my video settings, as you can see here, pretty much the same, just standard really. We've got V-Sync off, eight render distance, normal resolution full screen. This is pretty much as standard as it gets really when it comes to settings. And yeah, just flying around in this hilly snowy biome here, we're getting a good 120 FPS, which is really good. If we go on the ground here and just walk around, we're getting about 150 which is really good. Oh, wow, we've just... Okay. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Bear in mind, we haven't got Optifine or Sodium or anything like that on here just yet. Vanilla 1.19 on an M1 MacBook Air performs really well, actually. And bear in mind, I'm outputting to an external gaming monitor right now. So we probably could get a bit more if we were running just off the laptop itself. This is really good. I'm really impressed with this. Even when we're just flying around loading in chunks, we still don't drop below 60, which is really good. Yeah, there's no slowdowns whatsoever. This runs really, really well. A lot of people say to uh, not use F3 for FPS, but since we're on vanilla, we've got no other option. But yeah, no, it's really playable, really smooth. I'm really impressed with this, actually. It's really good. If we go on to Mac Fan Control here, which is a fan app, which this Mac doesn't actually have any fans. It's passively cooled, but we can see our temperatures here. So we're getting about 74 degrees on our efficiency and 78 on our performance cores. GPU is about 69 degrees. Yeah, this thing is cool as a cucumber. This thing is just is no stress, honestly, running native Minecraft 1.19. So if you want to get more FPS on your M1 Mac with 1.19 native support, what you can do is we can install Fabric and we can use that to install a mod called Sodium. So to get Fabric, I'll leave the link in the description down below. Go to fabricmc.net, go to downloads, and just download the universal.jar installer. Now you are going to need a special version of Java to be able to open this. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. It's an Azul JDK. So if we scroll all the way down here and find this one here. So this is a native ARM 64-bit version of Java and it's for Mac OS 11 or later. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the DMG installer. So yeah, it's a pretty standard installer. Just go through all of this, enter your password or fingerprint, and yeah, it should just install this JDK. And now if we open up the Fabric installer, it should open in our Java environment. So it's automatically detected 1.19 here. So yeah, just press one button, install, and there we go, it's done. As you can see, we have got Fabric Loader selected here. Now to install Sodium, we need to get it from their website. So just go on Google and search for Sodium Mod. So yeah, find this CurseForge site. I'll leave the link to it in the description. Go ahead and download. And now what we need to do is navigate to our Minecraft folder. 
You can do that by going to Finder, holding down Option on Go, go to Library, Application Support, then find Minecraft, and here is essentially our .minecraft folder. So if you don't see a mods folder in here, we need to go ahead and create one. So just call this folder mods like that. And then just drag in sodium into there. All right, here we are on fabric. Let's go ahead and go into full screen. Go into our single player world that we we're in before. All right, so here we are on our 1.19 worlds here. Let's go ahead and throw up our FPS here. Wow. Okay, that's made a hell of a lot of difference. Did you see that there? We had about 300 FPS. We're still getting, you know, a good 120, but we haven't even messed around with any of the settings yet. So if we go into our video settings now, here is Sodium. I've never used Sodium before. A lot of people have told me in the comments to use it. I'm guessing it's like Optifine, but for later versions. If you guys know some really good settings for this mod, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, I'm just going to go through and uh, <laughs> see if I can work it out. Yeah, we'll go for some nice looking settings and then we'll go full on FPS mode. All right, so that seems to look okay to me. Let's go ahead and apply that. And wow, that is smooth. Wow, look at our FPS there. 400 we got as we were just putting that on. Yeah, our FPS has definitely improved. Wow, we got 200 there, 205. Yeah, this has made a lot more difference. As you can see, the chunks are kind of rendering out there, rendering in. It's really good. All right, now let's go full on FPS mode. Let's try and get 1,000 FPS on this thing. Well, we're not quite getting a 1,000 FPS. The quality's definitely gone down. But the FPS, it's got a bit better. You know, we're into the 200s now, 300s. Yeah, as you remember before, there was loads of hills and stuff here, which we can barely see now. Yeah, so not quite the FPS I was expecting. And if you guys are in any doubt about me running this natively on Apple, as you can see from the activity monitor here, we've got Java, which is, you know, our game. And it is running as Apple. So that means this is not running through Rosetta. This is running natively on the Apple M1 chip. If it was running through Intel, it would say here. Minecraft Launcher itself is running through Rosetta, but the actual game and Java is running through Apple M1. So yeah, I just thought I'd point that out to you guys, just in case you guys are in any disbelief. This is 1.19 sodium and fabric running natively on the M1 MacBook Air. The next thing we're going to try on this M1 MacBook Air is we're going to try Mini MC. A lot of people in the comments have told me to check this out. And basically what it is, is a native Minecraft launcher for M1 Max. If you just click on the GitHub link here, I'll leave it in the description down below. And yeah, here it is. So to install it, it looks a little bit confusing, but I'll go through it in this video. So we're going to use the homebrew method. So we need to install brew which is basically like a package manager installer for Mac OS. So to install it, all you do is just copy and paste this from their website. Go to the Mac OS terminal here and paste it in there. Press enter and it should download and install Homebrew. This feels very kind of Linux like right now installing packages and stuff. So now if we copy and paste the commands here from the GitHub, we need to do this one by one. So I'm just going to do the top one first. Copy and paste that in here. All right, so that's installed. Now we're going to go ahead and get Zulu, which I think we already have. So now last one is we need to install ManyMC, which will go directly to your applications folder. And there we go. ManyMC has installed. So now if we go to Finder, Applications, and we should see it right here. All right, so just logged in with my account here. Now go to Add Instance. Uh, let's go ahead and run 1.8.9. You guys know I love 1.8.9. Here we are, 1.8.9 running on native Apple Silicon. I never thought I'd see the day. So here we are, as you can see here, Many MC 1.8.9, Apple. No Rosetta here, boys. It is running natively. Boom, here we are. This is 1.8.9 Creative running natively on an Apple M1 Mac. And to be honest with you, Compared to Rosetta, there isn't actually a lot in it, which shows how good Rosetta actually was. All right, so let's do some PvP on 1.8.9 running natively on the Apple M1 chip. So we haven't got Optifine or anything like that. So this PvP is going to look really weird because we haven't got any 1.7 animations mod or anything like that. Oh my god, I'm rusty today. So yeah, I think this new update, this new 1.19 update from Microsoft with native M1 support is a really good step in the right direction. I mean, it'd be nice if all versions could support it natively through the official Minecraft launcher. 
but it looks like we're just going to have to use solutions like many mc like i showed in this video microsoft have had a while to be honest with you to get this new update out and get it supported on m1 max don't get me wrong i'm really glad they did it i was pretty sad to find out that it wouldn't run natively and i'd have to use rosetta but rosetta is really good to be honest so I think now with M2 that's come out, I think now that Apple have pretty much finished their transition over to their own chips, I think that's going to give a lot of developers a good kick to uh, get their applications optimized. Quick little FPS test of all the things closed down. It's quite out of activity monitor. These two obviously need to be open. Finder's always open. I can't really close that. If we go into our full screen here, 1.8.9, vanilla, native on the M1, Hypixel Duals Lobby solid 120 fps wow that is really good actually thank you to all the people that suggested checking this out in the comments down below i decided to wait for minecraft to actually provide official support before doing any kind of video like this and i'm pretty impressed with the results that i have got in this video quick little temperature check here we are getting 76 degrees on our efficiency cores 80 on our performance and yeah, the laptop does feel a little bit hot right now, so I'm going to give it a break. But yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this on my channel. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time. Peace.